Hello dear students, welcome to Exeometric course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2019 and it's a problem 9 of your paper. So it's a general aptitude problem. So have a look. A girl is running at a constant speed to catch a bus which is stationary. So see it is given to us that bus is stationary and a girl is running at constant speed. Before she reaches the bus, the bus leaves and moves with a constant acceleration. So it is given to us that bus will move after some time before she reaches there and uh, it moves with a constant acceleration. Which one of these graphs describes the situation correctly? Alright, so these are the things given to you. Please focus on what is always focus on what is given to you. Alright. So then only you will be able to solve this problem. So see, this line actually represents bus and this dot 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 represents movement of girl. All right. So initially it was given to us that girl is running at a constant speed. All right. So constant speed for constant speed for girl. So constant speed actually means that if you have x axis and y axis, all right, let us say this is your x axis, y axis and your, let us say your y axis represents, this y axis represents speed, all right, it represents speed and this x axis represents time, all right. Now given to you that girl is moving at a constant speed. So constant actually means that you will have a speed constant. So you will have a graph like this. All right. Time cannot start from negative one. All right. Time is always positive. Therefore, your, your movement of girl will look like this. All right. In this way, it, it will look. Now let us make it dotted. All right. So because it is given to you that movement is dotted for the girl. Now see, before she reaches the bus, the bus leaves and moves with a constant acceleration. So initially bus was a stationary. So bus was a stationary mean time was only the moving quantity. All right. Speed was zero. So speed was zero. So time was actually the moving quantity. So your graph should look like this. Let us say at, at this point of time, all right, T naught up to this point, uh, at, up to this point, uh, let us say X is equal to T naught, your bus was a stationary. After this, your bus moves with a constant acceleration. Constant acceleration, it is given to us. What is acceleration? Acceleration is change in speed all right or velocity i will say but let us consider speed so acceleration is change in speed all right so change in speed means your speed is changing with respect to time and it is given to you that change in speed is constant all right this is given to you now if you want change in speed with a constant thing then what you have to do, you have to draw actually a straight line like this. All right. That means this figure will represent the movement of the girl and this figure will represent the movement of a uh, bus. Are you getting my point or not? Now let us, the question is totally finished. Let us now do it with the options that are given to you. All right. Let us do in the options part. So in the option C, in this first case, your this is your bus, all right? This is straight line is your bus. Now see, speed is changing with respect to time and this is a straight line, all right? It's an equation like this, y is equal to mx. Now see, this is a straight line and it, it begins from zero. It begins from zero means your acceleration was constant from the very beginning of the time. But it was given to you that bus was stationary initially. 
so it cannot be the graph are you getting my point or not so this means this is wrong because in this case bus is moving constantly all right now let us talk about third option in the third option it is given to you that bus was constant initially up to this point of time bus was stationary all right it was not at all moving but after this point of time see the acceleration that means change in speed is increasing very rapidly it's not constant because if it is constant then it has to be the straight line that is why your third option was incorrect are you getting my point also we can see in order to discard the third option we can also see that the girl speed was constant all right speed was constant this is your speed axis so graph should be like this not like this line are you getting my point so this is why your third was incorrect now see in the fourth one also your your uh, movement of the bus like this that means it the speed is changing with respect to the time from the very beginning of the time that means from t is equal to 0 you are uh, your bus is moving so it, it cannot be a correct option also see this um, the uh, speed that you have is changing but it is given to you that speed is constant for girl that is why fourth is incorrect so we can directly mark two as correct without drawing all of this we can mark our correct answer all right so now let us try to uh, all right question is already done now let us try to think over this issue that if speed is if acceleration is constant then why your graph should be a straight line what is my claim claim is this that if acceleration is constant all right this a represents acceleration is constant then graph will be straight line So see acceleration actually means change in velocity with respect to time dv by dt and it is given to you it is constant this will imply that v will be given by all right just integrate both sides all right it's a differential equation so you will get ct all right this is constant the constant that is given to you ct plus c1 some constant so this shows us that the velocity all right and the time will be will have a relation of a straight line in between them see it's a equation of a straight line so this means that if your uh, your acceler acceleration is constant that means there will be a straight line graph between time and speed all right we proved it here so this question has nothing to do with all of this part if you already know basic things that if speed is constant that means your graph will be a straight line it's a basic mathematics and if acceleration is constant then your graph will be uh, graph will between speed and time will be a straight line so because of only these two facts we can eliminate every option which is present here got it so i was making this video to to make this video a little bit more informative right that is why i am taking time but it, this question is not going to take more than one minute in your exam right so if you have any doubt regarding this problem what you can do you can always ask in the comment section and if you have any other doubt all right regarding mathematics so what you can do you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are always there in the description part of the video from there you can join, alright? So thank you.